Basic treatment protocols, oral appliance therapy, nightly titrated well, AM joint seating appliances, weight loss, avoid sleeping on the back, use of a t-shirt or fanny pack or some things I'll show you the next couple of slides. Night shift neck band to avoid sleeping on the back. If someone sleeps on the back, this is a neck band that will buzz when they sleep on their back to get them to wake and roll over. This is called a Remington bumper belt so you're not sleeping on your back. Very effective for positional apnea and if it's a choice between not sleeping and that, a lot of people will use it. Treatment protocols continued. Breathe right nasal strips. Use the regular or the extra, I prefer the extra. Afrin or any of the nasal de decongestant. Three days trial only, otherwise you'll have rebound and irritation issues. Flonase or Nasacort, now available over the counter. Nasal steroid, you can use for a long time, good results, especially for allergies. Avoid Viagra and sedatives, they'll make it worse. Avoid narcotics and antidepressants, they'll make the apnea worse. Avoid alcohol, will make the apnea worse. And remove allergens such as down from the bedroom. These, what I think, are the best uh, Breathe Right strips to use. They are the extras, not the advanced. Uh, nasal air cones, this is in your notes. If the airway, if their nasal airway collapses, get online, order these from maxairnosecones.com. In a lot of your appliances, they will weaken over time. They will stress. If you have a piece that's adjustable, stabilize that piece over time so it doesn't break. So here's an unstabilized somnodent. Over time, they will tend to break right there from pressure on this torquing it outward, so I stabilized it with acrylic. Easier way is to take a piece of wire, stabilize it to there and there, so if you have to readjust it, all you have to do is separate the wire. I'll be real quick on these things. When initial oral appliance therapy fails, check for loose appliance, breathe right strips, nasal inflammatory modulator, uh, nasal decongestant three nights only, antihistamine, GERD treatment, look for the GERD, treat the GERD, avoid back sleeping with uh, a t-shirt with a tennis ball sewn into the back, that night shift, uh, neck band or the Remington uh, bumper belt. Try sleeping on the right, try sleeping on the left. Weight loss always important. Very important thing to know that when someone has congestive heart failure, they build up fluid in the legs. When they go to sleep at night, that fluid redistributes or redistribute redistribution to the rest of the body, including the neck. The neck will swell, you can't breathe as well. If this is one of those people, they should have a support hose during the day and the bed at an angle at night, about eight degrees. If you're finding that you think that's a problem, that will increase the obstructive sleep apnea, deal with that with the physician. Have them check for periodic limb movement, restless leg syndrome, and the things that go along with that. Sleep uh, physician consult regarding fluid accumulation, ENT consult due to upper airway resistance. Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy to make sure they have the right sleep hygiene, supplemental oxygen, combination treatment with CPAP, uh, drug-induced sleep study to evaluate what's really happening, and orthognathic surgeries, an ultimate. If they tend to break appliances, there are treatments for that, that should be done by the physician. Long-term follow-up every year. Once you get them through the first year, every year to check for what's happening.